Hello everyone, Jeff again, Elite Sports Shooting. Today, we're gonna do a cleaning video, but we're gonna do it of a gas gun, and this is the Beretta A400 Extreme Unico. So, before we get going, I always give a shout out to my favorite gun socks, the Gugaluza gun sock. The Gugaluza gun sock, mainly for all of my shotguns, and the Jalisi uh, gun sock for my rifles. So the Jalisi is just a little bit more stretchy so it goes over top of the scope of my sh of, of my rifles. The Gugaluza is not as stretchy. They do have a six inch version. I do not have one. I really don't think I need one because I like the Jalisis that go over my my rifle so I usually just use the Gugaluzas for my shotguns and Jalisis for my rifles so anyways what I do have to do I have to resituate the camera my lighting uh, my sound everything the th there's things that I've learned over the last little while about filming and cameras and angles that it's all part of a process so if you give me a second I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to reset everything so you can have the best view while I'm cleaning the uh, A400. All right I'll be right back. So the Beretta A400 is actually well it's a gas gun but a couple of things that I do really like about it are, is how it comes apart so uh, I made sure that the action was open and I'm just going to give the fore end cap just a little turn and it comes out and off and I'm going to pull that fore end cap cover right off and I'm going to pull the barrel right off. Now here's a gas piston. I want to take this out because I want to clean it. You can tell it's pretty dirty. I have shot this thing a lot in the last little while. So I'm going to reduce or <clears throat> release that. So to get the charging handle out you have to depress this and inside here you're just trying to line everything up so it's there is a perfect if I can get the right light you can actually look down into here and see where it actually lines up so you can pull it out. It's got to be in the perfect uh, spot to go in and out. So at, in that position I can pull it in and out. It does get a little sticky. That's another reason why I like the oversized bolt control or the oversized control. So I do have an oversized uh, charging handle. I just I don't I haven't put it on yet so anyways we're gonna pull that right out so that all comes out at once uh, I only clean the spring once <laughs> once in a while I've done it one other time and it's like putting a snake in a bag it is so difficult that I will probably do a separate video just on that. So, but you can clean it just the way it is. Now, if you've watched any other of my cleaning videos, you know that I work with chainsaws. So, here's my punch, and it's just an old file that I used to sharpen chainsaws. And I'm going to use a file handle because it just needs a little bit of convincing. Sometimes I'll actually put that on something else. Maybe something a little bit bigger than that. Just so I have a little bit more 
to punch it out. And then it comes right out. And then we just rock it and pull it out. So inside the receiver, it is a gas gun. You, I can actually look in here and see some debris, some gunk. So we're really going to spray this down. I probably put 350, 400 rounds to this before I, uh, since I've cleaned it last. We're going to spray it right down, get her nice and We really want to clean inside that glass, uh, that gas piston area. And it's mainly just carbon buildup. And I like my oversized or my extended choke tubes. This is a um, an extended Optima choke tube. There is a difference in choke tubes uh, in the Berettas, the A300 versus the A400. The A300 takes the uh, the A300, the A400 takes the Optima choke where the A300 takes the um, coming up with a blank here we're gonna pause the Optima and the mobile so the A400 takes the Optima choke tube and the A300 takes the mobile choke tube so they do have different threads just in case I do have other Beretta uh, flush mount I chose to uh, buy a few more of the extended choke tubes and this is the uh, improved cylinder uh, with a with a, the goose band there uh, the brass of the gold goose band I like that it really looks sharp and I'm just gonna spray it inside and out I like the extended ones because they're easy in and easy out. I can grip them better. And we're going to spray down the barrel. Now I'm just spraying down onto a towel. I always use a towel, an old towel. If I use a new towel, my wife would shoot me. But. All right, let's start wiping stuff down now I usually just use paper towel or an old rag or an old t-shirt uh, this is an old receiving blanket from my granddaughter she's now 10 she's going on 10 but uh, I'm just gonna start wiping everything down now I, I really lube this up so you want to make sure you get all the excess off. So this does come off. 
to pull that uh, that uh, spring out I don't suggest it like I said I'll do an entire video later because that is a horse's patootie so you can see all the carbon build up on the on the magazine tube now some of it did stain and you got your release in here so just watch that you don't damage that or bend it when you're in there wiping stuff down you know wipe it the best you can you do need a little bit left in there but wipe as much of the excess off as possible I firmly believe that cleaning is part of shooting so I don't mind doing it a lot I really don't you can see how dirty this is and that's why you like using clean ones because you can see I I wipe it till it's clean So there's no more carbon coming off it gas guns are really good but gas guns require a little bit more maintenance than uh, inertia or pump but I love my Beretta uh, I love all my shotguns I love all my shotguns in different ways there's there's reasons why I love each gun one of these days I'll put together a, a video on what would be my ideal gun I'll take the best of everything now gas gun uses some of the gas after it's fired to load the next round where inertia relies mainly on the inert energy of the shot fired where the gas uses some of the spent gas now I do have a toothbrush that I use now just looking at this trigger group I can see that I don't have to do much so even if we take our cloth or our rag or whatever and we just see what's on here you can see it's pretty clean it's in the firing position I'm gonna turn the safety on because I don't want to dry fire this yeah there's really no carbon buildup on this so that's a benefit but we did wipe it down just in case but I do need to get right down in here and scrub actually asked me why don't you do some cleaning videos on chainsaws to which my reply is that's something I have to do for a job I don't have to do it for fun I don't do I don't clean saws for fun I clean saws because I have to now normally I'll have some music playing it's usually a, a fun time I like to listen to you know some some good music just while you're just 
while you're doing some fun stuff, just while you're doing some cleaning. So, so we'll put the gas piston back in because I already cleaned those out. I did get a little on the composite foregrip, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Now, <clears throat> I didn't put a patch. Now, if you're a patch guy, that's awesome. Fantastic. You can use patches. I clean so often that I go through so many patches that I came up with a different solution which is just using some paper towel all the way down the end and you can see how dirty that is wow and that's why I like using clean paper towel every time I just ball it up, put it in the end. Now the one thing I didn't do is I didn't scrub it. But we know how dirty it was. I don't mind doing it again. I wasn't able to do as much shooting as I wanted to do. I wanted to do some competition shoots this year, but there really wasn't any in my hometown. The, uh, our range was, was, uh, we did a lot of construction to it. So we had a lot of weed vegetation. So I've been volunteering a lot to help with weed spraying and mowing and just overall trying to get a vegetation plan together for, for the range for We'll call it my playground. So I'd say we're pretty good and we need to start looking at putting this thing back together. So we're gonna put the bolt in first. Put it right in, slide that right down the magazine tube. And everything we do, we're just gonna do it slowly so everything goes back together. <clears throat> I can actually, now the same way we took this apart, we got to put it back together because you just can't put it back together. You literally have to push this until it's like a key. So it just fits in just perfectly, right, right, right like that. And then we're going to put the trigger group in. Make sure it seats properly. I don't have it in properly. There we go. I just hit that action release or the uh, trigger release there. Okay. And I'll put the I always like to just put a little bit of oil. Not much, just a little. I put it on and I just take a little and make sure it goes all the way around. Just so nothing seizes on the threads. Now 
Number two, I love the way this Optima choke tube looks. There we go. And put the port grip back on. I've got several guns, several shotguns, and each one of them is a little bit different. And you just have to give it a quarter turn to lock it. And then we're going to hit that. Action release. There you have it. We'll just give it a little bit more of a wipe just to get all of that stuff from my gloves off. It's probably a good idea to just put a, give a little bit of a wipe, even if you put some gun treatment or some uh, this is gun bore cleaner you can put some oil just lightly spray it onto a onto just a, any kind of paper towel or a towel and just lightly wipe down take all the fingerprints off the barrel There. Now, she's ready to shoot again. So that's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the content of the video, give me that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed, click that subscribe button. We've got a lot more video content coming. So. If you hit that subscribe button and the notification button, then you can be notified when I put something up next. All right. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Have yourself a great day. And always remember to keep both eyes on your target. Thank you, everyone.